To calculate vehicle weight, start by selecting the weight feature from the home screen. Beginning from a complete stop, accelerate through 15 miles per hour in a straight line on a level surface and you should have your weight reading. It is important that you perform this acceleration in a straight line. Better Way will disregard any data collected while the vehicle is turning. If you don't get a reading, stop and try again. Every time you repeat this process, Better Way gathers more data and increases the accuracy of your reading. To calculate weight of the towed load, weigh your vehicle alone, then with the load attached. Subtract the weight of your vehicle from the combined weight of the vehicle and load. Keep in mind that in order to get a more accurate reading, Better Way works best with medium throttle acceleration, but it should still be able to get a reading from low or high throttle acceleration. Once you have a measurement, you can increase or decrease the scale range by pressing the plus or minus buttons on either side of the gauge. You can also take a screenshot by pressing the screenshot icon. This will save your measurement to your photo gallery with a date stamp for your records. Now you're ready to tow safely. Know what you tow with the Better Way Mobile Towing Scale. Let's take a quick look at some of the setting options. Click the gear to get to the settings menu. One important setting that will help you calibrate is the option to change the unit measurements from pounds to kilograms. Once you have selected your preferred unit of measurement, you're ready to begin self-calibration. To access the weigh self-calibration feature, follow the prompt when you enter the weight feature or clicking the gear in the upper right hand corner of the home screen and select calibration. Follow the prompts to calibrate the weigh feature with your vehicle. You will manually enter the gross combined weight rating as well as the payload capacity. You can find this information on the stickers inside your door jam. Next, enter the weight of all the cargo inside of your vehicle. This is easiest to do with just the driver and no extra cargo, so you can simply just enter your body weight. Now you're ready to drive. This process requires you to accelerate and stop 12 to 30 times, so it's recommended that you do it in an empty parking lot or on a road that you are confident will have little to no traffic for about 10 minutes. The Better Way app will instruct you to drive through 15 miles per hour at light, medium, and heavy throttle levels. Repeat this pattern of acceleration until the progress bar is filled. Your vehicle is now calibrated and you can start using the vehicle way feature. To calibrate your suspension for the additional features of the better way, navigate to the suspension weighing page by following a prompt or tapping the gear icon in the upper right hand corner of the home screen. Then select calibration and suspension weighing. Start by parking your vehicle and turning the engine off. Then let down the tailgate or open the trunk. Let the vehicle settle and press next. Once the initialization is complete, sit on the edge of the tailgate or trunk, enter your weight and press continue. This process helps better way understand how much your particular vehicle moves under a given weight. That completes the suspension calibration. Traditional methods of finding the optimal gain of your trailer brake controller include multiple passes and adjusting the gain up or down until the trailer brakes are set to just before lockup. This can be time consuming, hard on your towing vehicle, and it can also be a guessing game to find the optimal gain setting. The Better Way can help you find your optimal gain for your trailer brake easily, quickly, and more accurately while reducing stress on your vehicle. Begin by locating a flat level surface where you will be able to conduct the trailer brake calibration. Select the Trailer Brake Gain feature from the home screen and follow the prompt to enter the trailer weight and the combined weight of your towing setup. Press continue when you have finished and you will be prompted to select your trailer type. 
Select the trailer type that matches your towing scenario. Now you will begin to calibrate your towing setup. Click Ready and follow the prompts on the screen. Begin by setting the gain setting on your trailer brake to 3. With the vehicle in gear and from a complete stop, fully activate the manual override on the brake controller. Slowly accelerate in a straight line from 1 to 2 miles per hour until the progress bar fills all the way, and the better way gives you an optimum gain number. If the wheels did lock up during this calibration, tap on the Lock Up Occurred button. The better way will tell you to adjust the gain to a lower number, and you will need to follow the calibration steps again. Once you have your optimum gain, adjust your vehicle's trailer brake controller to match this number. If you alter the weight of your trailer, click on the Change the Trailer Weight button and enter your new weight. BetterWay will automatically give you a new optimized gain number, and you will not have to complete another calibration. To use the weight distribution feature, select it from the home page menu. Make sure that the tow vehicle is in position with the ball beneath the coupler and ready to be engaged. When the vehicle is in place, turn off the engine as vibrations may affect the accuracy of the readings. Hit Ready. Make sure that nothing is touching or disturbing the vehicle in any way while the better way takes its initial measurement. Once the initialization is finished, lower the trailer until it engages the ball and the jack stand comes off the ground. Better Way will now show you your tongue weight. Once you have a measurement, you can increase or decrease the scale range by pressing the plus or minus buttons on either side of the gauge. You can also take a screenshot by pressing the screenshot icon. This will save your measurement to your photo gallery with a date stamp for your records. Press ready and you will now see the weight distribution relative scale. This three point relative scale shows how weight is distributed across your front, rear and trailer axles. Without the spring bars engaged, you will notice that the front end is light while most of the weight is over the rear axle. The goal is to redistribute the correct weight back to the front axle of the vehicle. Latch the coupler onto the ball and lower the jack stand lifting the rear of the vehicle until it's in a position that will allow you to engage the weight distribution bars. Once the bars or chains are attached, raise the jack off the ground and you will get your initial weight distribution reading. Adjust your weight distribution hitch as needed until the front axle marker is in the green zone of its respective meter. Once the marker is in the green, you are ready to finish connecting your trailer and get out on the road. Again, you can adjust the scale range to best show the distribution of weight, as well as saving a screenshot for your records. To calculate payload, BetterWay needs to get a measurement of the pitch of your vehicle before it is loaded. Select the payload feature from the home screen and park your vehicle in a spot where you intend to load it and then get out of the vehicle and press ready. Make sure that nothing is touching or disturbing the vehicle in any way while the BetterWay takes its initial measurement. Anything that affects the pitch of your vehicle after this reading will be measured as a change in payload weight. Once this initial measurement is complete, you can load your truck bed and get your payload measurement in real time. Once you have a measurement, you can increase or decrease the scale range by pressing the plus or minus buttons on either side of the gauge. You can also take a screenshot by pressing the screenshot icon. This will save your measurement to your photo gallery with a date stamp for your records. To calculate pin weight, BetterWay needs to get a measurement of the pitch of your vehicle before it is loaded. Select the pin weight feature from the home screen and park your vehicle aligned with the intended trailer to tow and press ready. Make sure that nothing is touching or disturbing the vehicle in any way while BetterWay makes its initial measurement. 
Anything that affects the pitch of your vehicle after this reading will be measured as a change in pin weight. Once the initial measurement is complete, you can couple your trailer and get your pin weight measurement in real time. Once you have a measurement, you can increase or decrease the scale range by pressing the plus or minus buttons on either side of the gauge. You can also take a screenshot by pressing the screenshot icon. This will save your measurement to your photo gallery with a date stamp for your records. To calculate tongue weight, start by selecting the tongue weight feature from the home screen. Before you press start, align the trailer coupler over the ball mount. Take a step back from the vehicle and press ready. Better Way will now take an initial pitch reading. Make sure that nothing is touching or disturbing the vehicle in any way while Better Way makes its initial measurement. Once the initial reading has been taken, lower the coupler onto the ball mount. Now you can load your trailer and watch your tongue weight update in real time. Your tongue weight should normally be around 10 to 12% of your trailer weight. Once you have a measurement, you can increase or decrease the scale range by pressing the plus or minus buttons on either side of the gauge. You can also take a screenshot by pressing the screenshot icon. This will save your measurement to your photo gallery with a date stamp for your records. Now you're ready to tow safely. Know what you tow with the Better Way mobile towing scale.